hello friends welcome to lecture number five that is video and audio properties in this lecture you will understand what are the various video properties like frame rate frame dimensions bit rate and uh, similarly we will also understand what are the audio properties of particular video file so over here i have got one mp4 file and to view the properties of any uh, file you can right click and then click on properties and after that you have to click on details over there you will find all the details of this particular mp4 file so right now title subtitle is empty and video in video section you will find video properties in audio section you will find audio properties so length is of 4 column 70 it means that this video file will run for 4 minutes 17 seconds then we have got frame dimensions that is frame width and height the video is composed of frames and each frame has specific dimension so in this video this particular video has been encoded using this particular width and height dimension that is 1280 and 720 that is the height of this particular frame in this particular video so there are different different dimensions depending about the quality normally dslrs have the frame width and height as 1980 and similar correspondingly there is a height so it may change depending upon what kind of device you are uh, using to record your videos or even if you have different uh, recording dimensions file exporting you can change these dimensions as well so that flexibility can be provided uh, by the video editing tool like power director then data rate and bit rate this is nothing but for each second how much data is required to be re uh, for representation of one second so here you can notice that bit rate is 2196 it means that for one second 2196 kilobytes are required and this frame rate is also important the frame rate is nothing but how many frames are displayed per second so normally 25 to 30 frames are that particular rate is used so here you can see that uh, this particular video has been encoded with 25 frames per second and similarly we have got audio properties in audio we have got bitrate that is for one second how much kilobytes are required then channels the how many channels are there in that particular audio track and then audio sample rate which is normally 48 kilohertz but it changes based upon how you have recorded your audio so whenever you try to work on any video you can note down these properties while importing as well as exporting so that it will be easier to understand like what is the bitrate of the particular file so that while exporting and importing you will find it easier to work with those files and uh, over here it is showing the size 67 MB so normally size of this particular or any mp4 file or video file depends upon this particular thing bitrate for one second how much kilobytes are used to represent that one second so higher the bitrate it means that higher data or the kilobytes will be required to represent one second and accordingly size will be increased so here bitrate is 2196 kbps then if you double the bitrate then size of this file will also double so right now it is 67 and after uh, you increase the bitrate by double then this size will also double so whenever you see that file size is very high it means that just go ahead and check the bitrate and you will find that bitrate is very high so if you want to compress that file all you have to do is you have to use the tool like power director to compress or export the file with the lower bitrate and then file size will also get reduced so these are some of the video and audio properties that you have to remember or keep in mind while working with audio and video editing thank you for attending this particular lecture